need a square canvas, a brayer, black acrylic paint, Mod Podge, and I have inch foam brushes. You need a square print from your home printer on plain copy paper. Very simple stuff. Now you want the print size to be the same size as your canvas. I had an eight inch, you might want to start with a six inch. Once you get that print coated with the Mod Podge on the back, you want to get the edges lined up and then stretch it flat and it'll remove the air bubbles and the wrinkles. That's what I learned after doing a couple of them. So it's pretty, you got some time before it dries. So take your time and move it around, get the edges the way you want. Then flatten it out with the brayer, get the air bubbles out. <clears throat> and uh, get underneath there with the edges to get those flat if they've dried a little bit. You want to make sure everything's glued down real nice. And let that dry. And then you want to put a coat over the top of that after it's dried. I use that plastic there to keep the brush from drying out. I can reuse it. This works pretty good. Flatten those edges down so they're flat against the canvas. Makes it look a lot nicer than uh, the edges sticking out. Let that dry. Then you'll need two coats of the black acrylic paint. Take your time on this and make it look nice. Get those edges crisp and uh, that's what it looks like afterwards. I used um, Command Hooks, the 0.5 pound and they were small wire hooks, if you want to know how I hung those. And you can tell the first one that has the wrinkles and then the others that I learned to stretch the print to get the wrinkles out. So that's how it turned out. I thought it turned out really nice. If you have any questions, just ask below.